Well, welcome back to another episode. My name is Austin Wilson. Got some good buddies behind me. Uh, we're doing something special today. We're, uh, we're gonna get some crawdads. Do a big old crawdad boil. My dad happened to already be out here getting getting crawdads on the out here in the rice fields. Man, I hope I hope we can get a bunch because uh, I want to do a big old crawdad boil for you guys. Bring you guys along. Hopefully, we catch them. Well, I actually know we're gonna catch them. Let's come here. These are easy money. Look at them all. Bunch of them. So, obviously my dad got permission to come get all these crawdads. So, the deal is, with all the rice, there's a bunch of water in here. And about in the, I guess, late summer, early fall, they drain the rice. And all these crawdads follow the water. And so, in these little pools, there should be usually thousands of crawdads. It's usually easier to get them. Um, in the years past, I've just been able to just to grab handfuls and throw them in a bucket and get a few thousand in like an hour. Um, it's pretty pretty easy, but the hardest thing is getting permission to come out here and, and harvest some of these crawdads. Um, but I'm gonna get a bunch of these crawdads and hopefully uh, get plenty for, for all of us. So um, stay tuned. Well, I ended up getting a few. I'm gonna go back over here and see what my buddy's got. We'll figure out how many we actually got. We might actually call. I think we have plenty. My dad got a bucket full. I got probably almost half a bucket. I'm sure these guys have a bucket full. So anyway, <laughs> catch up to these guys and, and see how many they got. Might just uh, call it a day. We've only been out here for, I don't know, probably 20 minutes or so. Go see what these guys got. we will go from there. Yeah, there, there. Walk it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice. Nice, we got about two buckets full. <laughs> right on, <it>. brother. <laughs> well, let's fill, no... let's fill these buckets and hey, uh, go head pro. out of here. Go pro. I don't need any gloves like these guys, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of sissies need gloves. These guys don't pinch that hard. Well, we just pulled up to another spot and I think we found the, uh, the mother load. Check this out. Yeah, there's a few here. I mean, I've seen a lot more. This works for us. We're gonna only gonna get, get another bucket or so, and I think we're good. We're gonna head home. You gotta get all the supplies, you know, all the boil stuff, and we're gonna get a bunch. So I'll show you guys afterwards. This is where the bucket goes, John. Come on, Chef. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 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 the bucket is where I sit. Did your dad bring a hit? Ah, you <laughs> piece of <laughs> You mad, bro? That's not good for you, too. Didn't even close his claw, then you big baby. All right, let's uh, here's. Damn it. There's one more down here, we'll go check. All right. Well, just got home, got the crawdads, got the big pot. Look at that thing, giant, got the big burner. Obviously, uh, we need to clean these crawdads up, right? I mean, these ones are kind of clean, but these ones right here are dirty. So, check these out. See how dirty they are? Those need to get cleaned up. So we're gonna, I'm gonna run a bunch of water through them and uh, purge them. So that's gonna take probably about an hour or so. I'll show you through the process. Obviously, you just dump a bunch of water in there, just circulating water. And then when they're really clean, you dump a bunch of salt in them and that purges them, like gets all the gross grime and dirt out of their system. It makes them nice and clean so you're not tasting that muddy, dirty taste when actually you uh, finally decide to eat them. So like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna clean these suckers up and get ready to throw them in the boil. All right, got both ice chests open. Just gonna add water and get all that dirt and mud coming out of there. Get these products cleaned off. So, like I said, we'll do this for about an hour to get these products all cleaned up. And then uh, after they are pretty clean, no more mud coming out of there, then we add a bunch of salt um, into that, into the water. So. 
obviously you add a bunch of salt and those these carotids aren't going to last too long because you're adding adding so much salt but it cleans out obviously their uh their system makes them really clean makes them taste good so that's uh that's the whole point making these things taste good and having a lot of people enjoy these so we'll uh we'll get back to you when uh i get to that point <laughs> Hold on. Salt bath. So we ended up adding salt, and now we just let them sit for a while with water. It's the water it's kind of dirty. I mean, it's still kind of clean right now. You can't see that water's kind of clean, but it's starting to get dirty. So wait here, probably 10 minutes or so. Don't you get the Kind of stirring them up, getting all that. Yeah, yeah. Starting to get a little dirty there. See how this works a little lighter. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared. Yeah. Got it. This is hot. A little warm. Didn't burn any of my hairs though. Get that nice and. Nice and hot, and get it boiling, and then we'll add your se right, add the on. seasoning. Ooh, this should be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's hot there. That was a little warm. There you go. Yes. Yeah, go ahead and add all of it. Beautiful. Ooh, splash me. Ooh, that's hot. All the same? Yes. Oh yeah, it's hot. Look good, huh, yeah, Jack? Yeah, oh yeah, there looking there great. Add a little bit more. Give me a little stir. bay. Woo. Great. Look at that. Beautiful. So it's been about 15 minutes or so. We're gonna add the corn and sausage. Go ahead, and dump in the corn. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. That'll probably be in there probably roughly, I don't know, about 10 minutes. Those should be done. And then we're gonna add the main course, main part of this dish. We're gonna add all the crawdads. So uh, that's gonna be delicious. All right, finally, here it goes. The important part. Ready, Chad? Ah! Is that all of them? No, it's only half. These will only be in there for about about eight to ten minutes. Well, ten minutes might be a little long. Oh man! Look at that. Well, that's the first batch. We've got another batch going to go over here. Uh, we're purging and purge this batch. Obviously getting those ones ready to go in. Obviously, we, I think we put a little too much in that in that last last pot. Don't worry, because they're all gonna get eaten. Because everyone brought an appetite. You can't, uh, you know, pass up on something like this. Mud bugs. Look at that. You can't pass these up. These are no. excellent. Corn, sausage. All right. And most important part here. Austin, you pull, pull those this. Up? I'm pulling them out right now. Ooh, here you go. Oh. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. There you go, guys. Dig in. All right. Uh, it tastes good. Oh, I should, I, I should call Mark. Yeah, dude. Call him on over. You got plenty of food. Oh, yeah. They don't like it. 
Well, I think that's a wrap for today. Obviously, I had a great time getting caught as putting on a big old bowl for all these guys. I have to, I had to walk away from everyone, so it wasn't so loud. But uh, everyone enjoyed it. This is only like a one-time thing for me every year. I usually do a big old boil, invite a bunch of people, and it's usually a good time. Usually, <laughs> it was. It wasn't. I wasn't disappointed. Everyone, had, like I said, had a great time getting these crawd ads and and having obviously putting the the one thing I mess, messed up on today was adding mushrooms. Mushrooms would have made it because they soak up all that, that seasoning and it's just a great little extra, you know, to pop in your mouth. I kind of like the sausage and and, uh, and that corn. You know, we finished all the crawdads. There's nothing left. I mean, I don't know how many crawdads we had. We had a lot, but uh, all of them got eaten. But hopefully you like, like this video. If you want to see something else more like this, let me know. I appreciate it in the comments, you know. And if you do like this kind of stuff and you, you like my videos, please subscribe. You know, I, I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. Like, make a comment or like the video. I'd appreciate it. Stay tuned. I think um, I'm next up is, is uh, I don't know if you guys saw the dub video or not. I don't know if it's coming up next or, or if it's after this or before this video. But I'm getting ready to head to Clear Lake to go start practicing for the Wild West Bass Trail. Stay tuned for that video. It should be pretty good. I know the frog fishing is pretty good. I know October for our TOC is a little tough. October is that weird time of year from, from summertime to fall. So the fish get a little, a little off. Like I said, hope you guys like this video. So stay tuned for the next video. And, and I'll uh, see you next time. All right, guys. Later.